Look at all these bugs living in there. What's up guys, Rennis Reviews here with you again, and we are doing another military surplus firearm unboxing. In today's video, we are deep into the holiday Milserp deal season, and recently the infamous Royal Tiger Imports ran a very appealing sell on one of the last Carcano variants that I needed to add to my collection. This box contains a Carcano TS carbine second model, and for the very first time, Royal Tiger Imports had these discounted to $150. I am super curious to see what kind of condition this carbine's in, but before we get it over to the desk to check it out, I want to remind you guys to give the video a thumbs up if you like seeing these military surplus firearm videos here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads, and drop me a comment with any ideas that you might have for future videos. Now let's get this TS carbine unboxed. So this rather small carbine length box arrived in pretty decent condition. There's a nice little dent on one end, but looks good other than that. And that's about as good as you could hope for with FedEx shipping. You know we got to open that up with a bayonet. It's not a beauty, but I think it'll get the job done. If you know the pattern of bayonet, let me know down in the comments. It looks like they included a few packing peanuts here. Well, that's pretty cool. The listing for this rifle did say that it included a clip. A rifle has a good bit of bubble wrap on it, and we have an additional internal cardboard sleeve for protection. Recently, Royal Tiger Imports has gone up on their shipping costs a little bit. I'm sure it varies based on where you're at, but for me, on this one single rifle, shipping was $25. In the past, they provided discounts for additional rifles. Now it looks like they have a flat charge for every single rifle, so two rifles would have been 50, three rifles would have been 75, and so on. Oh, man. You hate to see it. Brass pins holding together, a pretty substantial wrist crack. Yes, these rifles were heavily discounted, but to my recollection, these were not listed as B grades or C grades. I do believe they were standard grade rifles. And for a standard grade rifle, I would expect something with a more solid stock than what this one appears to be. Other than that, the overall look of the rifle isn't too terribly bad. I mean, that is a substantial crack. The finish is a little worn but the rest of the stock looks to be in pretty decent shape. The rear sight is completely intact. I'm not at all surprised to see that its elevation adjustment is very loose. That's one of the more common issues that you'll see on these Carcanos, but at least the sight is all there. The handguard appears to be all in one piece and uncracked. Middle band with spring looks okay. And I'm surprised and happy to see that we have an included cleaning rod. There are a lot of odd little scratches on this rifle though. Looks like something went to town on that with some kind of wire brush. And we can see little marks that are very similar on a lot of the other metal surfaces. Sort of a brushed look. However, it doesn't look like it was completely wire willed. Just sort of scratched up. We have a butt plate with both the screws. Our rear sling swivel. Not quite sure what this is. Looks like some kind of metal nail or something. That does not come through the other side. We have our side sling bar. The wood on this side is showing its age. We've got a little bit of cracking going on around that. That's definitely not uncommon to see with these rifles though. We have a lot more of our abrasive scratching going on on the magazine here. It looks like someone took the end of a nail or something and just sort of drew lines on all the metal surfaces. That's definitely not normal wear and tear in my opinion. The rifle itself was made in 1929 at the Tyranny Arsenal. And there's a good look at our import marking on the rear of the receiver. I will applaud them for such a small importation mark. Pull this bolt out. This bolt is rusty. It came out pretty easily though. These Carcano bolts are pretty robust. I've rarely ran into ones with issues. This one is quite dirty and rusty, but it'll most likely clean up okay. We have a little bit of visible rust on the inside here. That has most likely caused at least some amount of pitting. And let's give it yield function test. The sear dropped, so seems functional at least. Unfortunately, it seems like this rifle is basically in standard Royal Tiger Imports condition, which is usually on the rougher side. I'm very saddened by this large crack that runs through the tang inside of the receiver. Somebody's tried to shore it up with these brass pins, but that crack really needs some kind of glue to hold everything together. I've bought enough rifles from Royal Tiger Imports at this point that I know what to expect. And this is pretty much it. Why then did I buy this rifle? As I said in the intro, this rifle is a second model TS carbine. And although I've been collecting Carcanos for several years at this point, 
This particular model has evaded me up until now, not because they're not available, but because they've carried a price premium. The majority of Carcanos can be acquired for $200 to $300. The second model TS carbines, though, have been sitting in that $300 plus range, which has deterred me from picking one up. At $175 ship, though, I figure we roll those Millsurp dice. To know whether or not those dice came up as snake eyes, we need to check out this bore. I have a clip here of original Italian military surplus 6.5 millimeter Carcano ammo. Well, that's not the worst thing I've seen. Our bullet firmly stops right there. So that means the bore on this is decently tight, towards the muzzle at least. I can't get too excited from that muzzle test though, because I just had a look at the bore itself and it is dark and appears to be corroded. There is rifling present, so perhaps it will clean up decently well, but it's not pretty at all. Let's take a closer look at this clip right fast. This is the basic reproduction clip that you can find pretty much everywhere. They're made to look like a World War II Italian Carcano clip, but these are new production. They're a little bit fragile, but work decently well. And that piece alone is about a $10 value in today's market. One thing that's a little bit interesting about this particular example are some cutouts in the front handguard. There's one notch on this side, and on our left side we have two notches. Sometimes the second model TS carbine will be referred to as an M9128, because in 1928, production on these rifles started again after halting post-World War I. In actual Italian literature, there's no difference between this second model and the original World War I TS carbine. The M9128 actually refers to a TS carbine that has been fitted with an Italian M28 grenade launcher. And although this rifle doesn't have any characteristic cutouts in the bottom part of the stock that you'll see with a rifle that once had a grenade launcher attached, this front handguard leads me to think that maybe it once belonged to a rifle with a grenade launcher, and that would explain those cutouts. That is just speculation though. I'm not an expert when it comes to those rifles that were fitted with the M28 grenade launchers. I'm fairly certain I'm gonna be disappointed, but let's see how this rifle's looking under the wood line. I guess we'll try to pull this cleaner rod out first. It's pretty firmly stuck in there. That's probably why it came with the rifle. It's too darn stuck to have gotten lost. With a little bit of manipulation, it is coming out though. It's not exactly straight, and it's pretty darn rusty, but I'm not gonna complain about a cleaning rod. These aren't exactly easy to find. Next up is our nose cap here. There's a solid layer of gunk all the way around that screw head, and it's looking like that we got a decent amount of rust going on too. This nose cap is pretty well attached. We'll give it a couple authoritative taps with the handle of the screwdriver here, see if that loosens it up. I've had to resort to the mallet on these before, but the screwdriver got that one loose. Look at all that rust and crud under our nose cap. These do clear the front sight, so you can slide the whole thing right off. And our barrel band here is toolless. We just depress the spring, and the barrel band and the whole handguard will usually slide right on off. There it comes. These handguards are notched, and that's why it comes with the barrel band. Oh man, look at that corrosion. The handguard itself looks to be in decent shape. I mean, sure, it's super dirty, but I don't really expect it to be clean knowing where it's coming from. The barrel band itself is in good shape though. This has a lot of surface rust, and from what I'm seeing, it looks pitted as well. Now that had absolutely no resistance at all. Again, very rusty, but a decent condition screw, and that one's not nearly as dirty as the other one was. We should then be able to lift our stock off of our barreled action. Look at all these bugs living in there. We've seen this before in RTI rifles, but it surprises me every time I see it. Look at them, those look just like bed bugs. There are tons of them down in the stock channel. That is so freaking disgusting. Luckily, everything is long dead and dried up. It's safe to say that that stock is super, super dirty. We got a mix of hair and dirt and buzz and bug carcasses all kinds of crap all over that barreled action. But again, this is basically the condition I was expecting on this rifle. I figure I can still get it cleaned up decently well. So you've seen the rifle, but we haven't really spoke about what makes this carbine different from any other Carcano carbine that we've looked at here on the channel, and why I would even want to add one of these second model TS carbines to the collection in the first place. So this rifle, that is in far nicer condition by the way, is a 1918 production first model TS carbine. I unboxed this rifle back a few years ago on the channel. 
I'll link that video for you here if you want to check it out. This is the TS carbine from the First World War. The TS stands for Special Troops. These carbines were issued to Italian soldiers that had jobs other than being an infantryman with a long rifle. The TS model is a very compact rifle, and for that reason, they are pretty darn handy and were very much liked by the Italian military. So much, in fact, that after World War I, the Italians started converting their long Fusilli Modelo 91 rifles to the TS pattern. And that leads us to the rifle we're looking at right now, a 1915 made M9124. This is a carbine length TS rifle, but it started its life as a full length rifle M91. We can tell it was a conversion rifle because of the rear sight. Look how large that rear sight is compared to the small purpose-built carbine sight of our M91 TS. A large portion of the M91 long rifles in Italian service were updated to the short M9124 pattern after the First World War. And once they were done updating all the rifles they were going to update, there was still demand for these short TS carbines. And that is finally where today's rifle comes into the picture. The purpose-built TS carbine went back into production in 1928. They once again went back to the original smaller carbine size sight because this rifle was not converted from a long rifle like the one behind it here. Instead of reverting back to the early size nose cap of our World War I TS rifle, they decided to go with the nose cap and barrel band design of the converted M9124 rifle. So these rifles have features of the original TS carbine and of the post-war converted rifles. And since I'm on a mission to collect every single Carcano variant, I wanted an example of this rifle in the collection. There is still one more TS rifle for me to get my hands on though, and that is a M38 TS rifle. The only real difference between the M38 TS and our TS second model here is what caliber they're chambered in. This one is in 6.5 Carcano. The M38 TS rifle is in 7.35 Carcano, and the rear sights were also changed to the M38 fixed sight instead of this old school adjustable one. So that, my friends, is a Royal Tiger Imports Carcano M91 TS second model, aka the M9128. I'm almost certain this rifle was imported from Ethiopia, and that's why the condition is so darn rough. For the total cost of $175, though, you can't be too terribly mad, especially when the rifle comes with a cleaning rod. Yeah, the stock's busted, needs some work, but the fact of the matter is I just wanted an example of this rifle for the collection. It's not like I'm going to be shooting it a lot anyway. So for a representative example, getting the cheapest one possible is not a bad thing, in my opinion. And for the price, I'm not mad. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. That really does help me out with the Google algorithm and getting the videos distributed out to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future military surplus firearm videos. If you notice anything about this rifle that I did not talk about in the video, please let me know down in the comments. I learn stuff from you guys all the time. And let me know if you guys think this admitted garbage rod was worth the price I paid. I will catch you guys in the next video. See you then. Peace.